Hey guys, Dr. Brittany here at the Wellington Wellness Center. Today we're going to talk about a couple stretches you can do at your desk or easily in your office that can help with some of the tension and pain that we get from sitting too much. So the first stretch I'm going to show you is one that's going to help alleviate a lot of lower back pain that people get when they're sitting for long hours. So one thing a lot of us don't realize is that part of the reason why our low back gets so sore from sitting is because our hips get so tight. So this stretch is going to be a good one to help open up the hips and our glutes, which is a really easy way to help loosen up some of your back pain. So what you're going to do is you're going to scoot all the way forward in your chair. And then you're gonna take one side at a time. I'm gonna start with my right leg. I'm gonna take my right ankle, cross it over my left knee. Really important to keep that foot flexed. That's gonna help protect your knee. So if you have any knee discomfort when you do this, just flex your foot even farther and that should help alleviate that. Um, most important thing here is to sit as tall as you can. I'm gonna turn this way so you can see. As tall and straight as you can. And then what you're gonna do is push your sternum forward towards that bent knee until you feel a pull um, in the back and bottom of that right hip. So what you don't want to do is slouch and lean forward this way because this is going to be aggravating for your lower back. So sit as tall up as you can, push down on that knee and lean your sternum straight forward while keeping your back as straight as you can. Hold that for anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds and then of course we're going to switch sides and do the same thing. And like I said, make sure, keep that foot flex. That's going to help protect your knee from any pain when you're doing this stretch. Straight back, push sternum all the way forward. One more stretch that we're going to do for the lower back. Um, you're going to stand up for this one. Um, what we're going to do is what we call a forward fold. So it's actually a yoga position. So what you want to do is bend your knees a little bit. You're going to come all the way down and let yourself hang as far as you can. So the most important thing with this stretch is you don't want to try to straighten your legs. We're not trying to have a flexibility contest here. So bend your knees as much as you need to so that your chest is touching the front of your legs and you feel that stretch more in the lower back than you do in the hamstrings. If you feel any stretch at all in the hamstrings, bend your knees a little bit more so that you feel that stretch more in the back than you do in the hamstrings. Same thing, hold that for 30 to 60 seconds, let your head and neck relax, and that should open up a lot of the tightness and discomfort in the lower and upper back. One more stretch you can do right from your desk here is gonna focus more on your upper back, neck, and shoulders from all the poor posture that we have when we're typing and using a mouse. So what you're gonna do is, again, I'm gonna start with my right side. I'm gonna hold on to the bottom of the chair that I'm sitting in and put the opposite hand on top of my head. First, you're gonna keep your back as straight as you can. You're gonna lean all the way away from that hand hanging onto the chair so you can feel that stretch all the way up the arm, through the shoulder and into the neck, and then slowly push the neck away. You should feel that stretch all the way from the base of your skull down to your fingertips in the arm. When we try to do that stretch without hanging on, most of us are so tight in the shoulder that your shoulder will just come with your neck and you're not gonna get a full stretch. So the hanging onto the chair is gonna be the most important part to help open up that whole neck and shoulders. Same thing, hold for 30 to 60 seconds and then you're gonna switch sides just like we talked about before.